So in this case, Perez has AP has a, so Perez has a $26,000 capital in his capital account. And he sells one half of his interest. To, let's make it Terrell, T Y R D L L, for $18,000. Okay? So, Perez has $26,000 in his capital account, right? Let's just call it a he because it, it just best covers it. We'll make the other one a she and kind of make it fair. Okay? And he sells one half of his interest in the partnership to Terrell for eighteen thousand dollars. Should that be thirteen thousand? Right. No, he sells it for eighteen. So what happens is Perez gets eighteen thousand from Terrell. I thought it was one half of his interest. Well, then it should be it. Yeah, I, and Michael, I think you've got a good question. See if this answers your question. So what happens here now? Is let's say this happened. Let's say this happened in January fourth. What will happen here is H Perez common capital will be debited for thirteen thousand, and Terrell common capital will be credited for thirteen. So what happens here is the from the partnership's point of view. Here's what happens. Okay, the, now Perez, his capital account will drop down to 13 because it's, yeah. Why 13? It's half of 26. Because he sold half of it. Because he sold half of it. Oh. Now the $18,000 is not a partnership concern. Okay. Nice. The, the 18000 okay. is between Terrell and Perez. It's not a partnership concern. Okay. okay. So suppose, and so but the only thing that isn't, and Michael, this is getting back to your question. The only thing that is a concern is Perez's capital goes down by 13 because half was sold, and Terrell gets, you know, his new capital account is 13. And the 18,000 is between two private parties is not a partnership concern. Okay. Let me give you another example. Suppose Perez says, listen, I went out of the business, but I'd like my daughter. We'll call it, uh, well, we'll call her XYZ. I'd like her to take my place. If that were the case, and Perez just gave it to her, this is what it would look like from a partnership's point of view. One partner out, another partner in. Okay. And here, it was an $18,000 exchange for half. Here, there was no money for the whole thing. But this is what it would look like on the on the, on the partnerships books. Yeah, if Perez gave bequeathed his capital account to the daughter, we'll make his daughter common capital. Okay. And then no money, eighteen thousand. But all that matters is okay. So now, so so now. Terrell what he does is he invests twenty two thousand okay so when he does that what we have is we have January four we have cash is debited for twenty-two thousand, and we have Terrell comma capital will be credited for twenty-two thousand. So what Terrell did is he invested the twenty-two thousand, okay, and Terrell will assume that much, has that much equity in the business. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. So let's do this. So now it changes a bit. So what happens on this thing is, okay, 
this is back to Terrell. So Terrell is going, so this is a separate problem. So now Terrell. is going to invest 42,000 for 25% of the partnership. Okay, so what happens here now is the fact that, so what we have here is the fact that the partnership at this point in time, 42,000 is, um, is the cash, okay? So what happens here is what we have here is, so at this point in time, the total capital in the business is 78, so the total capital is 78,000, okay? And so Zane and Perez, together they have a $78,000 in investment in the business, right? Stake in the business. We add Terrell's investment of 42,000. Now the total capital has increased to 120. And we multiply that times 25%, so one fourth of the business will now be represented by 30,000. So what happens here is if we have 42 minus 30, it comes out to be 12. And the partnership agreement says that something like this will be divided equally. So that turns out to be six. Let me show you the journal entry and then we'll talk about it. This is two or three, I'm sorry. Because we have Perez and Zane, but we're dividing it by two. The 12 right, here, I'll, show, I'll explain that in a minute. Okay. okay, thanks, okay. So here we go. So now on this one, we have January 4th. Cash will be debited for 42,000, okay? We have Rashid Pama Capital, or we, we've been calling him Terrell, let's call it Terrell, T-Y-R-E-L-L, Pama Capital. His will be debited for 30. And we have Zane, credited, you're right, Z-A-Y-N, okay? His will be credited for six. And Perez will be credited for six. And this is what's called a bonus to the old partners. So what happens here, let me kind of go through this slowly, is Terrell says, listen, I want 25% of the partnership and I'm willing to invest 42,000 for them. Okay, so here's the previous capital balance together, both Perez and Zane. Here's Terrell's investment, now it's up to 120. 25% of 120 is 30. So Terrell's capital account will be 30. And that means he owns 25% of the business. Because the 30 is 25% of 120, right? But his capital account is less than his investment. So that difference is a bonus to the old partners. And the reason it's two is because there's two old partners and the agreement says we're going to buy some like this. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, and this is a bonus to the old partners. And 78,000 is Zane and Perez's capital mm -hmm. added together. Prior to Terrell's entrance, okay. this is the total capital and there's two partners. Okay. And I'm saying the same thing, just a different way. Okay? And that's called a balance to the bonus to the old partners. And again, perhaps it's a going, you know, it's a going concern, and a going concern is worth more than just investment. And so 
he's willing to invest this to get a third of the profit, to get a fourth of the profit, and considers it a good deal. Okay, and then it's, it's called a bonus to the old partners. Now, what can happen here is it can work in reverse. So now, this would be a bonus to the new partners. So the way this works is now what happens on this thing is Terrell is going to invest $18,000 for 25% of the business. Okay? And this will be a bonus to the new partner. Okay? So, again, the way this works is, now what happens on this thing is you add the two together. Okay? And so now, you invest 18. So here we have the previous capital equity of Zane and Perez equals 78,000 just as it did before. Terrell invests 18. So the total capital now is 96. Multiply that times 25%. So Terrell will have 24,000 in his capital account. Okay? So he has 24. This will be Terrell's capital. And he invested 18. That means he'll get a $6,000 bonus. Okay. And divide that by two because 3,000 will come out of the other, will come out of each cap, each of it will come out of Zane's, and 3,000 will come out of Fred's. So here's the before this investment, here's this investment, here's after the investment. He wants to have 25% of the business. So this will be his capital account, it will be 25% of the capital. Here's his investment. So that means there's a $6,000 bonus to the new partner. And that $6,000 bonus is divided by two, so 3,000 comes out of each of the old ones. So here's what the journal entry looks like. So as the journal entry, again, let's have, say this happens on January 4th. Cash is debited for the 18000 okay. Zane, comma, capital is credited, is debited for the three. Perez, comma, capital. is debited for three, and Terrell, number capital, is credited for 20 So it takes it out of the credit capital. Yeah, suppose, uh, just kind of give you a scenario so this makes sense. Let's say that Terrell is like, a, uh, has a lot, has a special talent, computer rules, okay? And he says, listen, I want a fourth of this action, and I'm willing to pay $18,000 for a fourth of the action. Well, a fourth of the, a fourth of the partnership, if it's 96, after his investment will be 20, will be 24,000, right? So this is his capital account, which will be one fourth of the total capital. Mm -hmm. And then, here's his investment, so the difference has to come out of the, remain, of the old partners. And it's called a bonus to the new partner, and it's when his, that's when the gaining partner's investment is less than his capital account. Okay. And so these guys lose influence and he gains influence. Yeah. In effect. That sound good? Yeah. All right. Let's do